I remember once when I first started at Bog Beans, one of the things that they they uh, do uh, for new people is um, they they basically just get you to sit in um, sit in with like a veteran driver, so they they can answer any questions. You get to kind of experience the road, and it's good for them because it can be a lonely job. So so they've got someone to talk to. The guy I had, my God, he was um, an interesting uh, interesting character, to say the least. Everyone nicknamed him Pirate Dan. And I will tell you for why. He had a wooden leg. What used to wear a pirate's hat, where like normally people would wear like a trucker's hat. He wore a pirate's hat. He had a parrot on his shoulder, and he had a he had a glass eye, which I know isn't exactly synonymous with pirates. I know it's normally like an eye patch, but he had a glass eye. So I'm I'm sat in the car with him, <clears throat> you know, fresh faced looking to start a job and he's talking to me he's like these roads <clears throat> you always got to keep your eye on the road you can never can never turn turn your head look elsewhere blink I was like blink so yeah you cannot blink not at all I was like well, you've got to blink he's like no no you don't and I, I was watching him and I, I swear to god he wouldn't blink, not once. Like out of both eyes, I, I don't just mean the glass eye, but like it's, it's normal one as well. The man would not blink, wouldn't take his eyes off the road whenever he spoke to me. So I'm there and eventually I'm like, I wonder if I can get him here. I wonder if I can get him. So I'd say things like, oh look at that, that is incredible, look out the left hand window. He'd be like, what is it? I've got um, horses running in a field. He'd be like, thanks for letting me know. Nothing to do with the road. So we carried on. I was like, oh. He is good. Then I'd say something like, oh my god, a fire, fire there. Look, out, out, out the back there. He'd be like, I can't smell any smoke. I'd say, yeah, but it's, it's uh, far away. So if it's far away, it's no concern of ours. Carry on. I've got a delivery to do. I mean, he was he was like that. And I, I said to him, you never blink or close your eyes at all on the road. He's like, no. Nope. Not at all. And then I realised. What about, what about if you sneeze? And he said, I never sneeze on the road. I said, oh, how can you, how can you, uh, how can you make yourself not sneeze? It's like an involuntary uh, thing. You, ju you just do it. He's like, well, I've never sneezed on the road. I concentrate so hard, I've just never had to sneeze. And then he said, and even if I did sneeze, you know, so what? I'd keep my eyes open. And I said to him, I've heard that if you keep your eyes open when you sneeze, because of the pressure, you like kind of pushes your eyes forward a bit so it's like an involuntary reaction that we always close our eyes because of the pressure that pushes against the back of our eyes that's what I'd always heard anyway and he was like no, well I'm different I'm a different breed me his eyes look just like that Jarvis because because he wouldn't close them they were just he was constantly just straight even out of his glassy eye they were just constantly streaming it was like he was crying all the time maybe he was but yeah, so anyway, I'm thinking, <laughs> he says this to me, I'm meant to be concentrating so I'm learning the job. Instantly I'm thinking, right, how the fuck can we get him to sneeze? I want to prove a point now, I want him to go, achoo, like that, close his eyes so I can go, you fucking closed your eyes, see? So I can, I can have him. So I'm looking round, and of course he's got a parrot on his shoulder. And uh, on the seat, the, the parrot had been like molting. So there were all these feathers, all of these feathers on the, uh, on the seat. So what I did was I grabbed a small handful of them and quick as a flash, put the feathers under his nose and started tickling. And he said, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing that for? I'm trying to drive here. 
I'm there saying to him, listen mate, you are going to sneeze whether you like it or not. T today you will sneeze behind the wheel of this car. So like, no, I won't, I won't stop it. I'm there tickling his nose with these feathers. Eventually I put the, the there's like the stem bit on the, uh, on the feathers, isn't there? Shove it up his nose, he goes, like that. All of the feathers from this parrot go up his nose. He's trying to breathe, he's like, <laughs> like that. All of a sudden, I notice him, he's going, hey, hey, like that. And I'm thinking, here we go. Here we fucking go. He's gonna, he's gonna sneeze now. He's gonna sneeze and he's gonna close his eyes. And I'll be right. He's going, <laughs> like that. I was like, here we go, the moment of truth, mate. You're gonna close your eyes. He's like, I won't. I'm not gonna close my eyes. So you're gonna you're gonna keep your eyes open when you sneeze, are you? He's like, yes. I was like, that I would like to see. He goes, hey, 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 like that, right? I shit you not, he kept his eyes open when he sneezed. It was incredible. Both of his eyes pew, fired out. From, the, from their fucking sockets, like little cannonballs. Both his real eye and the glass eye. He starts screaming, his real eye goes into the windscreen in front of him, smushes, it's like a, it's like a pancake against the, the glass of the windscreen. His glass eye goes right through the, the fucking windscreen like a, like a bullet. I'm sat in the passenger seat, He's the, I'm a fucking blind man behind the wheel, screaming, what did you do, what did you do, I was like, should have closed your eyes when you sneezed, everyone knows that, so I can't see, you're going to be have to be my fucking eyes, I was petrified, I was saying, right, you're going to want to apply a bit more pressure onto the accelerator, okay, that's it, now indicate left, very good, I had to feed his parrot, while we were driving, because he couldn't see. Eventually, we uh, somehow made it back to uh, the Bog Beans headquarters in one piece. We get back there. We both get out of his um, both get out of his truck. He lunges towards me. I don't know how he. Well, he must have heard me because he couldn't fucking see me. Lunges towards me. Has his hands around my neck. I'm gonna fucking kill you, you little shit. Boss comes out, he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Pirate Dan, what what the fuck's going on here? He was like, this idiot shoved feathers up my nose. I sneezed, blew my eyes out. I'm blind now, I can't fucking see a thing. He's had to direct me back while I was driving blind, giving me instructions to get back here. Boss looks at me, he goes, is that fucking true? I'm thinking, oh, fuck, I've fucked it now. I've fucked it now. I said, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Boss goes. Barry Gammon. That was reckless. That was insensitive. That was immoral. Right? That was not playing by the book at all. And that is exactly the kind of thing we're fucking looking for. You're hired. Fucking um, pirate Danny's like, what? You can't be serious. He's made me blind. The boss is like, yeah, and that reminds me. You fucking fired, Pirate Dan. He's like, what? What have I done wrong? The boss is like, you said so yourself. You're blind now. Can't exactly uh, keep you if you can't see where you're going. Can we, hey? He said, pack up your things and fuck off. You and your little parrot. And he said, actually, no. The parrot stays with us, the boss said. Oh, which I thought was particularly harsh. I mean, I blinded him. The boss got kicked him out of his job, fired him on the spot. 
the least he could have do, done is let him keep his fucking parrot. But no, sh sure enough, the boss was like, we're keeping the parrot. And that, that's how I got this truck. This is Pirate Dan's old truck. And I kept the parrot. I kept the parrot for a... had him for a night um, before I ate him. I wanted to see if it tasted like chicken. And it does. So uh, let that be a very important lesson actually to all of you. When you sneeze, close your eyes. Even if you're behind the wheel of a car. Because my god, that was... Well, I sometimes have nightmares about that. You're not the same person after you've seen a, an eyeball kind of get flattened just by the sheer pressure of being shot out of a socket. It changes you. 